foods to avoid if you have joint pain. Do you ever find yourself wincing in discomfort as you reach for something on the top shelf, or feel a nagging ache in your knees as you climb the stairs? You might have heard the phrase, you are what you eat, but have you ever stopped to consider how the foods on your plate could be the hidden culprits behind those annoying joint pains? Your diet might be waging a silent war against your joints without you even realizing it. Today, we're diving into the intriguing relationship between what you eat and how your joints feel. We'll uncover the foods that might be sneakily aggravating your joint pain and explore healthier alternatives that could lead to a life free of that frustrating discomfort. So grab a seat and get ready to take control of your health, one bite at a time. 1. Soda and Sugary Beverages That sweet, bubbly delight that dances on your tongue and tickles your taste buds. It's the life of the party at picnics, the go-to quencher at the movies and maybe even your little secret indulgence when no one's watching. But did you know that this fizzy friend might actually be backstabbing your joints? You see, soda and other sugary beverages are like the frenemies of your joint health. Sure, they taste good, but they come packed with a payload of sugar that can cause inflammation in the body. Inflammation is like the gossip of the health world, it starts quietly but can spread like wildfire causing pain and stiffness in your joints. So if you're struggling with joint pain, that soda might be the whispering antagonist behind the scenes. But wait, there's more. Sugary drinks don't just stop at making your joints throw a fit. They have a whole repertoire of health horrors. Sugar is like that friend who overstays their welcome. It crashes on your couch, in this case, your belly, and doesn't want to leave. The more weight you carry, the more pressure on your joints, especially the knees. So those extra pounds from your daily soda habit might be inviting joint pain to the party. Sugary beverages can increase insulin resistance, like a stubborn teenager refusing to clean their room. This can lead to type 2 diabetes, another uninvited guest at your health party. Think of sugar as that guest who clogs up the dance floor, or in this case, your arteries. Too much can lead to heart diseases, turning your rhythmic heart dance into a chaotic stumble. And let's not forget about your pearly whites. Soda's acidity can eat away at your enamel like a hungry teenager raiding the fridge. Not a pretty sight, trust me. So the next time you reach for that can of soda, just remember, it might be all smiles and bubbles on the outside, but inside, it's plotting against your joints and overall health. Maybe it's time to uninvite soda from your daily routine and welcome some healthier options to the party. 2. White Bread The soft and fluffy staple that holds together our sandwiches and toasts our mornings. It's like the comforting hug of the breakfast table, but if you're dealing with joint pain, it might be time to rethink this cuddly carb. White bread is made from refined grains. And much like an overzealous barber, the refining process chops off all the good stuff. What you're left with is a product that's stripped of its fiber, vitamins, and minerals. It's like taking the soul out of the bread, leaving behind a loaf that's somewhat hollow on the inside. A little dramatic, perhaps, but bear with me. Now, the lack of fiber means that white bread has a high glycemic index. It's the thrill-seeker of the food world, causing your blood sugar levels to spike faster than a roller coaster ride. And like any wild ride, what goes up must come down, leading to a crash that can leave you feeling more sluggish than a snail in a slow-motion race. But back to those joints. That rapid spike in blood sugar levels triggers the body to produce pro-inflammatory molecules called cytokines. Think of them as the rowdy neighbors of the cellular world, throwing a party in your body and inviting inflammation along. It's not the kind of party your joints want to attend. In fact, inflammation from these cellular shenanigans can lead to pain and stiffness in your joints. White bread loves to cling, not just to your taste buds but to your waistline as well. Without the whole grains to keep things moving, it's like the bread settles in for a long winter's nap on your hips. 
with all the good stuff removed, eating too much white bread is like attending a party with no entertainment. It fills you up but leaves you unfulfilled, possibly leading to deficiencies in essential nutrients. And let's not forget about your digestive system. Without fiber, white bread might leave you feeling a bit, shall we say, backed up. It's like the traffic jam of the gastrointestinal highway. So the next time you're reaching for that slice of white bread, remember that it might be time to break up with this fluffy friend. Whole grains are the way to go, offering fiber, nutrients, and a hearty handshake to your joints rather than a slap in the face. 3. Margarine The smooth and spreadable savior of breakfast toasts has been hailed as a heart-healthy alternative to butter. But if you're battling joint pain, this yellow imposter might be masquerading as something it's not. Let's unwrap the truth. First and foremost, margarine is made from vegetable oils and often contains trans fats. Imagine trans fats as the rebellious teen of the dietary world. They don't follow the rules and can lead to inflammation in the body. For your joints, this inflammation is like a never ending rock concert, loud, chaotic, and more than a little painful. Now, what's the fuss about trans fats? Well, these fats are to margarine what autotune is to pop music. They might make things appear smooth and harmonious, but beneath the surface, they're hiding some serious discord. Trans fats increase LDL and decrease HDL. It's like that annoying friend who brings along their uninvited plus one to the party. In this case, the uninvited guests are inflammation and joint pain. The trans fats in margarine are like that one wrong turn on a road trip. They can lead you down a path of heart disease, clogging your arteries like a traffic jam on a holiday weekend. Margarine's trans fats might also make your body's insulin response as sluggish as a Monday morning without coffee. This can set the stage for insulin resistance and even type 2 diabetes. Margarine often contains omega-6 fatty acids, but too much of this without its partner in crime, omega-3, can lead to an imbalance. It's like having too many cooks in the kitchen, resulting in a recipe for inflammation. So, next time you're spreading that golden layer on your toast, remember, margarine might not be the knight in shining armor it pretends to be. It may have a buttery taste, but it might just leave a bitter aftertaste in your joints. Perhaps it's time to consider alternatives like olive oil or avocado spreads, which, unlike margarine, aren't hiding behind a mask of misinformation. After all, even toast deserves honesty in its relationships. 4. Beef The centerpiece of barbecues and the darling of dinner plates. From burgers to steaks, it's a meat lover's dream come true. But if your joints have been singing the blues, it might be time to take a closer look at this bovine delight. Now, before we start beefing with beef, it's important to understand that not all cuts and types are created equal. What we're really putting under the grill here is the fatty, processed, and grain-fed variety. You see, grain-fed beef often has a higher content of omega-6 fatty acids compared to its grass-fed cousin. Omega-6 isn't necessarily the bad guy here, but when it shows up in excessive amounts without the balancing act of omega-3, it's like a seesaw with only one kid on it, things get unbalanced and inflammatory. For those with joint pain, this imbalance is akin to wearing mismatched shoes, it just doesn't feel right, and it leads to more inflammation. It's a fashion faux pas for the body, if you will. The saturated fats in beef might fill your taste buds with joy, but they could also fill your arteries with cholesterol. It's like inviting too many guests to a party and blocking the entrance. Nobody wants a clogged dance floor, especially not your heart. Heavy and fatty cuts of beef can be like that overstuffed suitcase on a vacation. It's hard to carry around, and your digestive system might struggle with it, leading to bloating and discomfort. This might be a bit off the dinner plate, but the way beef is produced can have an impact on our planet too. It's like a houseguest that not only eats all your food but also leaves all the lights on. 
those rich, fatty cuts of beef might be packing more than just flavor. They could also be packing on the pounds. It's like a surprise gift with purchase, but in this case, you might not appreciate the extra baggage. So, what's the solution? It doesn't have to be an all or nothing approach. Opting for leaner cuts, grass fed options, or simply reducing the frequency can make a difference. It's like turning down the volume on your neighbor's loud music, you can still enjoy the beat without the booming bass disturbing your peace or your joints. In the culinary concert of life, beef can play a delicious tune, but moderation and mindful choices might be the keys to keeping your joints dancing happily. 5. Wheat Products The backbone of our bread, the cornerstone of our cereals, and the prima donna of pastas. It's practically everywhere, like that one catchy tune that gets stuck in your head. But if your joints have been playing a less than pleasant melody lately, wheat might be part of the chorus. Now, not everyone needs to stage an intervention with wheat, but some individuals, especially those with sensitivities or intolerances, might find that it inflames more than just the conversation at the dinner table. Why so? Well, certain wheat products contain gluten, a protein that can cause an inflammatory response in some folks. For the joints, this can be like hosting an unwanted house party every time you indulge in that morning toast or spaghetti dinner. The inflammatory response to wheat and gluten can be a little like a mystery novel. It might not be the same for everyone, but for those who are sensitive, the plot can thicken and lead to discomfort. Picture Sherlock Holmes investigating a crime scene, only in this case, the suspect is hiding in your sandwich. Wheat, for those sensitive to it, can lead to bloating, gas, and other digestive issues. It's like that one friend who overstays their welcome and makes everything a bit uncomfortable. Believe it or not, wheat might even affect your skin. It could cause rashes or irritation, like wearing a wool sweater on a hot summer day. Not the best look or feel. Some individuals report feeling a bit foggy or unfocused after consuming wheat. It's like trying to navigate through a maze while wearing sunglasses at night. Certain wheat products, especially the processed and refined ones, might contribute to weight gain. It's like packing for a weekend trip and ending up with a month's worth of luggage. So, what's the alternative, you ask? Luckily, the food world has caught on, and there are plenty of wheat-free options out there. From almond flour pancakes to quinoa pasta, you can still enjoy your favorites without the unwanted sideshow. In the grand theater of food, wheat might have been the star for some, but if it's casting a shadow on your health, it might be time to audition new alternatives. After all, your body deserves a performance that leaves it feeling nourished, not nagged. 6. Bacon and Sausages The sizzle that sounds like a morning serenade, the fragrance that can wake you up faster than the loudest alarm clock. They're the dynamic duo of breakfast, the salty saviors of snack time. But if your joints have been feeling like an old creaky door lately, you might want to investigate what's sizzling in the skillet. Now, don't get me wrong, bacon and sausages aren't criminal masterminds but they might be accomplices in the case of the aching joints. Here's the scoop. Bacon and sausages are often processed with additives, preservatives, and a good amount of salt. They're like that one friend who wears way too much perfume, it can be overwhelming and, for some, irritating. In this case, the irritation could manifest as inflammation in the body. Remember those omega-6 fatty acids we talked about earlier? Well, these processed meats might be holding a reunion party for them, and that means more potential imbalance and inflammation. Your joints might RSVP with a resounding no thank you. And the salt, oh, the salt. It's like adding extra snow to a winter storm. Too much salt can lead to water retention and increased blood pressure. Your joints might feel swollen, and your heart might be working overtime. It's a double feature nobody asked for. And then there's the cholesterol content. 
bacon and sausages can be high in saturated fats, and that might lead to higher cholesterol levels. It's like having too many cars on a highway, it leads to congestion and problems down the road. Don't forget the potential impact on your waistline. These processed meats might be packing hidden sugars and fats that could contribute to weight gain. It's like getting a surprise bill after a free trial, nobody enjoys that extra weight. But it's not all doom and gloom in the world of breakfast meats. If you choose wisely, there are leaner, healthier options out there. Look for products with minimal additives, lower salt, and quality ingredients. It's like finding a golden ticket in a sea of lottery tickets. Now, I'm not saying you have to break up with bacon and sausages forever, but maybe it's time to redefine the relationship. Think of it as an it's not you, it's me moment. Your joints might thank you with a sigh of relief, and your overall health might write you a love letter. So, next time you're at the breakfast table, pondering the eternal question of bacon or not bacon, consider the implications. Sometimes, a delicious detour might lead to a delightful discovery, and your joints might join you in a happy dance instead. 7. Cheese and full-fat milk The dairy darlings that have graced our tables, our sandwiches, and our coffee cups. Whether it's a sharp cheddar, a velvety brie, or a rich, creamy glass of whole milk, these delights have filled our taste buds with joy. But if your joints have been crying out like a squeaky wheel, you might want to hold the cheese and switch to skim. Now, before we cause a curdled commotion, let's take a closer look at what might make these dairy products a bit utterly concerning for some. Cheese and full-fat milk are like that plush, overstuffed armchair that's so comfortable but hard to get out of. They're full of saturated fats, which for some folks can lead to inflammation. Your joints might be protesting like they're stuck in that chair, too. If you're lactose intolerant, consuming these dairy delights might lead to more than just joint discomfort. It could be a digestive drama, complete with bloating, gas, and the dreaded diarrhea. It's like a soap opera in your stomach, and nobody wants to tune in for that episode. Cheese and full-fat milk can be calorie-dense like packing your suitcase for a weekend getaway and realizing you've packed for a month. If you're watching your weight to ease joint pain, you might want to check that dairy baggage. These full-fat favorites might also contribute to higher cholesterol levels. It's like adding more cars to a traffic jam. Your arteries don't need that congestion, and neither do you. Now, don't put the dairy on trial without a fair hearing. Not all cheeses and milk are created equal. There are lower fat and lactose free options that might still let you enjoy that cheesy grin without the joint grimace. Consider this a culinary adventure, an expedition to explore the alternatives. Maybe it's time to meet goat cheese or embrace almond milk. It's like going on a blind date with a new dish, and you might just fall in love. In the great dairy debate, knowledge is your power and choices are your superpower. Your joints don't have to wage a war with the cheese board or the creamer. With some savvy selections and mindful moderation, you can still enjoy the dance with dairy without stepping on your own toes. Remember, life's too short to say no to cheese, but it's also too precious to ignore what makes you feel good. Listen to your body. 8. Beer and Wine the bubbly buddies of backyard barbecues and candlelit dinners. They've been the guests of honor at celebrations, gatherings, or just a regular Tuesday evening. But if your joints have been raising the red flag lately, you might want to reconsider how often you raise your glass. Let's pop the cork on this one and pour over the details. Beer and wine aren't necessarily the bad guys in the great mystery of aching joints, but they might be playing a supporting role. Beer is known to have purines, substances that can convert into uric acid in the body. It's like turning the volume up on a song you don't like, too much uric acid can be irritating, leading to conditions like gout, which is like a rave going on in your joints. And trust me, nobody wants to dance to that beat. Then there's the gluten factor. 
some beers contain gluten, which might be a joint pain trigger for those sensitive to it. It's like bringing a cat to a dog party, things can get uncomfortable real quick. Wine, while often seen as the more sophisticated sibling in the beverage family, isn't off the hook either. It can contain sulfites, which might cause inflammation for some people. It's like adding too much spice to a dish, it might just leave a bad taste in your mouth, or in this case, a bad feeling in your joints. Let's not forget the calories. Beer and wine can be like those surprise extra charges on a hotel bill, they add up. If you're managing your weight to ease joint pain, these liquid luxuries might not fit the budget. And of course, there's the alcohol itself. It might seem like the life of the party, but too much can lead to dehydration, liver problems, addiction, and other health concerns. It's like staying too long at the party, things can go downhill fast. Now, before you cork the bottles and stash them away, remember that moderation is often key. It's like finding a hidden treasure in your own pantry. But like any treasure hunt, it's important to have a map and maybe a guide. Talk to your healthcare provider, understand your body, and navigate the landscape of beer and wine with awareness. You might find that the path to comfort and enjoyment doesn't have to be a rocky road. So, the next time you're toasting the good times, consider your joints, and maybe make that toast with a glass of sparkling water or a mocktail. Your joints might just join in the cheers. And there you have it, friends, the grand menu of foods to approach with caution if your joints are playing a not-so-sweet symphony. From the fizz of sodas to the sizzle of bacon, and the clink of wine glasses, we've dined our way through the culinary culprits that might be behind those creaking, aching joints. But don't let this turn into a tale of foodie fright. Your plate doesn't have to be a battleground. It can still be a canvas of color, flavor, and joy. With a sprinkle of knowledge, a dash of creativity, and a generous helping of guidance from healthcare professionals, you can cook up a feast that satisfies your taste buds without upsetting your joints. Remember, the kitchen is your kingdom, and you're the master chef. You have the power to whip up wellness and saute your way to comfort. Listen to your body's wisdom, and don't be afraid to experiment with new flavors, textures, and ingredients. Who knows? Your next favorite dish might be just a recipe away. So next time you're at the grocery store, think of it as an adventurous journey rather than a chore. Let your cart be your chariot, steering you toward choices that nourish not just your body, but your joints too. And if you find yourself reaching for that cheese, remember, there's a whole world of dairy delights waiting to dance with you, just waiting for the right partner. Thank you for joining us on this culinary cruise through the do's and don'ts for joyful joints. If this feast of facts has whetted your appetite for more, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the dinner bell, I mean, the notification bell, for more delicious insights.